hi everyone i'm amber welcome back to my channel um we're gonna be reviewing zoe 102 today oh i'm both excited and i'm just excited um because i really like this movie but i'm also i guess nervous because there's so much like negative things attached to this movie and I hate that I liked it so much and I wish that I could criticize it a lot more based on you know what's been going on and I totally support that cause um but like of course this movie I said before in my trailer reactions that I was gonna watch it because it's linked to my childhood and I feel like I owe myself that you know like I've been waiting for decades to watch you know revivals like this um and to have our two favorite characters and lovebirds unite um well again but like you know like the story to go on and um I wish it were not under these circumstances um I already addressed it in my first video I don't want to go too much into it again if you know you know um this move this review is purely on the movie not my thoughts on the actors not my thoughts on the whole thing that happened because i already shared my thoughts on that and i don't want it to be messy i just want whoever is watching this video to know what they're expecting when watching the movie if they choose to watch the movie and if they enjoyed it to come here and just enjoy the nostalgia feeling with me and that is it okay that being said it was a very good movie uh I thought it was gonna be way different um I think that whenever they like bring back your favorite characters in some way like you are so nervous that like they're gonna mess something up and I think they did pretty well um I just kind of keeping things like they, they grew so much but at the same time they it still had the feel of Nickelodeon. It still had the feel of, like, Zoe. Um, and I really liked that. Uh, I think Mark and Stacy were by far my favorite characters. Um, which is funny, because I think those two are the ones that grew the most. And I kind of missed how they used to be. But at the same time, I was so in awe by how they grew up. How they ended up together. I would have liked to know their story. Like, I was just like, what? And then the fact that Mark, like, I mentioned before, I'm like, why is he here? Like, he's Quinn's ex and this is her wedding. And they're, like, friends and everything is good. And Logan is, like, just bonding with him. And I'm just like, cool beans. Um... And, yeah, I mean, I wish that we had, like, Victoria Justice or more <laughs> characters from before. Because there was this one scene where um, Chase's girlfriend date, because they had broken up before then, apparently. So, she did very, something very similar to Zoe. He did something very similar to Zoe. Um, and um, they were talking, and, and he was like, oh, this is uh, my friend from high school. And then she's like, oh, and then she starts listing, like, basically everyone that's not there and I'm just like now you're making me miss them great um I would have liked to known what was going on with Lola um we found out what was having with happening with Justin um and that he has like kids and twins on the way and I'm just like what like okay um I would never have thought that he would have like been having kids and you know I thought he would have just been like into music or something like something like very more Dustin-ish um but that's not the case um Michael ended up being a producer I don't know what happened to Lisa um I would have liked Lisa there um but it's okay I just would have liked more of like the original cast even if we were just gonna have like m more side characters like you know Stacy and Mark like that would have been fine just more there was like four of them and I'm like come on there was so many more um it didn't feel like a full cast and then there was like these two random people that i don't know where they were from i assume that they were from like college or something um but i don't know i they were just random to me um and i was i was right i was happy that quinn was this big time boss lady who like invented like technology and everything and i was just like so proud of her hello editing amber from the future i just wanted to say that it was made clear that logan had proposed to quinn many times and she was just like 
no 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 and like partly to do with like the fact that she was like a not ready and b wasn't sure if she wanted to get married like she wanted to be with logan but like she had never thought about that growing up and then like logan wanted that and she wasn't sure if she wanted the same thing um and it turns out she did she wanted it done you know in a way that like was true to herself um and she wanted logan to like realize that and like figure it out kind of for her because she wasn't really sure and like and respect that part of her that was like you know this sciencey nerd part of her and kind of bring her back to like her roots because like for the longest time everything had been so like extravagant and she just missed kind of like that part of her that was young and like creating science and experiments and everything that's how we went back to like pca and everything because that was such like a true part of her and so much has changed and um it was also the place where they fell in love you know um and like bringing her back there and everything it just kind of solidified like everything and like it was just a beautiful moment but like go quinn for like you know sticking to what you know and what you want and like having logan figure out something for like once okay logan kind of owed it to her to be kind of like more like to be the supportive i guess boyfriend who like did everything for her and understood everything for her um understood everything that she was doing for herself um and like totally supportive but i feel like we didn't have logan because of that they mentioned many times that you know he grew and he changed but i miss kind of parts of old logan like the snarkiness you know the sarcasm just like a little bit like you know it could have been like just toned down a bit to show that he had grown like he didn't have to make fun of quinn obviously like so i kind of just wanted that like you know the what how he talked to her like in the last couple of like episodes when he was in a relationship with her i really liked that so i kind of wanted that because then he kind of fell flat for me and he kind of ended up being a background character even though this was their wedding um and then obviously chase and zoe were gonna end up back together what happened in hawaii i don't know apparently he was left on the island and that was it and i was just like so what wait, wait like did she like not go did you end up spending the summer with her significant family member that um supposed family member that like it was she was supposed to go with um or like was the trip canceled like what happened in hawaii like literally they i thought we were gonna like lead up to it and she was just like they were talking and he, he was left there and i was just like what what happened how was he left there how did he get onto the island how did you not and then like this was like right like the summer after they got back together after everything that happened and then like she was just like, oh, you know, I just thought, like, it was gonna be easy, like, you know, just to kind of drift apart, because that's what we always end up doing, and, like, avoiding it, and, like, not being together, and I was just like, what? Like, at that point, you two were endgame, like, you went through all of this, you broke up with your boyfriend, the whole England thing, and, like, how like why like there there needs to be some other excuse there there was something else there had to be like because that didn't make sense like people that was the only thing that did not make sense in this movie um so that was the only thing that was very disappointing um i wish like something else had happened um that just made more sense um and then like we see in the trailer zoe gets a fake boyfriend um to kind of make tra- chase jealous um a little bit i was gonna say trace um and um chase essentially does the same thing with his ex-girlfriend who they were together they were serious but then she broke up with him and he asked her hey can you come to the wedding with me so he wouldn't come alone of course zoe like um and the car honestly if it wasn't for the car locking they they wouldn't have like rekindled anything and i think that chase just kind of avoiding her like i'm i'm sorry after everything chase went through with her and the fact that like she still didn't like acknowledge him or like she had said um when they were like going to pick up quinn and logan's rings that like she had always had a crush on him like but the fact that you put him through all that i'm sorry he had every right to be mad i was mad that he was mad but i was just like (sighs) like bro like he 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 went through a lot and you just kind of left him i mean you left him in hawaii so of course he's mad at you um 
apparently they were all like in miami and living there um chase was in baltimore for some reason so he wasn't like in the videos and the instagram stories when she was looking through them um and i don't know what i pictured their professions being chase being a teacher fits pretty well um but zoe working like on a like a love reality show like it, it also works but it just wasn't what i i didn't have any expectations but i just didn't think that was it um there was just something missing um and then like she has to work during quinn's wedding and she has to like babysit like this older guy there was a lot of like really funny like random things happening and it felt very like old-fashioned nickelodeon and i really liked that um and then like stacy and mark with their whole like murderer podcast was everything and the fact that she just kind of messed up the whole wedding because she was accusing todd and then todd ended up being like the guy in the end and i'm like who did he take like it felt very nickelodeon um and i don't know what mark's lead was that he um supposedly got the picture that this was the guy um and then and then like i didn't really like um mark and state I, I like them as individuals and when they were like kind of like sleuthing together but the fact that like tracy treated him so like tossed to the side like he like was all there for her supporting her and she was just like no did i say tracy um and she was like oh it's a feminist thing and blah blah this and i'm just like you're treating him like garbage like the poor guy and then when he was like oh the murderer could be here i'm like you go mark you you you, you put your foot down and a uh, sleuthy kind of way yes um but yeah um i think that they were just so cute um and sometimes and sometimes i was just like why are you treating him like that but they were still my favorite um and i would have loved like a side movie or something to like know how these two got together because i'm just like oh <laughs> like this is not what i was expecting i mean when you saw the poster you saw them together i'm like i guess they're together um but i'm not sure um i don't even know that was the color of the bridesmaids dresses to be honest um i didn't know logan had a sister um did i miss that episode um and then like i think that for the rest of them each of their professions other than logan logan just has money to have money like kind of made sense for them um and yeah todd in that bar scene that bar scene was the one i think that i was kind of like fearing the most um because logan like i was shown logan i talked about this in the other trailer reaction um and he was like yeah pca baby and it just was like that did not seem like logan at that point in the movie like i see what that scene was for although again i stand by what i said about logan like he did not seem like logan until the end when they were in pca and oh my goodness what happened with pc i was just like they did not what what how like it was just so random and so like we're gonna get back to that but like basically the whole like scene was to kind of like explain they had all men in high school and everything um and what happened to pca and the fact that like dean rivers literally like went to gamble the money like that these parents were paying for tuition um and, like, I always wanted to go to PCA when I was a kid. I didn't know where in the world there was, like, a PCA-type school. Like, it seemed like a college to me. And I was... I thought they started in middle school. And I was right. They started in middle school. I don't know how they have student loans from the school. I assume it's from, like, their parents paying for it. But, like, the money, like, basically he gambled it away. And, like, I was like, how were things being paid for? Why was this school so fancy? Like, the money must have been used. But it just kind of felt like okay you know and it was laughable um and it was believable in some way because it kind of fit with like the whole like nickelodeon vibe but like i was just like man okay um but w yeah when they went back to pca and logan had like his little shirt and then quinn got married in her lap coat and i was like this is everything to me like i love this um and then, like, they were playing Starships, and I was like, yes, everything. Like, PCA was a ghost town, and I loved it. And, like, the fact that, like, it was just kind of still there. They made it this kind of rustic kind of wedding. And, like, 
this whole like reminiscent kind of feel like it was so it, it was great it brought me back to my childhood and like it kind of made everything full circle um it, it was it was great it was great um and I like that we got to meet Quinn's like parents I don't know if that was her dad walking her I assume it was her dad we didn't get to really meet her dad but we got to meet like her grandma and like her mom which was really nice um and yeah I just thought it was a really good movie there were some things where I was just like that doesn't make sense but like it still felt very Nickelodeon to me and I really really enjoyed it um I think just kind of the funniness of Zoe having to go back and forth and then you know like Quinn is outside her window there are so many easter eggs Quinn is outside her window um and um <laughs> Logan comes out and he's like talking to her like the balloons the balloons were so cute and then they like shout that they love each other like they did in like the prom episode and I was just like oh my god and then Chase literally running into poles again when he's seeing Zoe and then the last one he's like I got it and I'm like yes Chase you got it um so I I just thought like it was a great movie Chase seems so much more nerdy to me it was just like so cute um and like i just kept looking i'm like i missed the bushy hair um but yeah um i would have liked more like interaction with him and michael i really miss that and then also since the wedding party was so small like i mean the guests weren't like it was huge but like the immediate like bridal party like why would they put zoe and chase walking down the like i don't get that like you know that they have their beef with one another at least chase has his beef with her like why would you do that and then they're like okay we're walking i'm just like this is just made for us to feel very uncomfortable because this doesn't make sense um okay <laughs> um and i think that just yeah it was so humorous so good that i don't have many critiques on it um but um I I like the new characters they fit well Todd made me laugh um and I really like Zoe's boss even though at times I was just like dude you're annoying me but like he fit very well he very much reminded me of like Coco at times um just kind of random and all over the place um and yeah i think that everything that was going on on the set of zoe's job which is so random so all over the place but it was like okay like it felt very much like a zoe 101 like episode um so yeah those are my thoughts on that um Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that in you watching this movie, you felt as satisfied as I did um, and were brought back to that nostalgic time. It felt very much like a long, like, Zoe 101 episode. Um, and I think that just, like, how they grew in this movie... Um, was very like they were adults you know they were figuring things out and everything and it felt very natural they didn't feel like kids like, anymore but like you still had that feeling of like i said nostalgia and it was all just so great but that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you saw us soon bye